Good afternoon. My name's Carly Cooper, and I am live with you for another Wellness Wednesday. I teach people how to get shift done in their life, their business, their health, and their wellness. And on Wednesdays, I come at you live with a video on different essential oils. We go from A to Z, and today we're on jasmine. Okay, so this is not an oil that many people have in their top 10 toolbox, right? It's not the most popular one, but she is a beauty, let me tell you. So Jasmine, for the longest time, was not available to the Gen Pop because if you're getting it from doTERRA, you're getting high quality, real, pure essential oils. You might be able to find this in a health food store for kind of cheap, just walk away. Trust me, she ain't the same. So for a long time, doTERRA did not have jasmine available because it's an expensive oil. And I actually earned a five mil uh, bottle of, of jasmine through a promotion through the business. And to be honest, I found it to be very strong smelling, uh, very fragrant. And it wasn't my favorite. But then doTERRA came out with jasmine. Now it's available on our uh, line that you can get all the time, our product line, because they've made it in a roller version. So this means that there is 100% pure jasmine in here, but it is also diluted. So they didn't need to add as much so they can now mass produce it. So a roller looks like this. And you can just go ahead and roll it directly on your pulse points. I'm smelling a lot like jasmine now, but it's good. So let me just rub that in. So jasmine is amazing to use aromatically or topically. Now you wouldn't ingest this one, right? Because it is a roller. It's just good for topical or you can put it on your pulse points and smell it that way. Um, in India, this oil is known as the queen of all oils. Any guesses as to why? Let me tell you why. Because jasmine blossoms at night. Did I say the queen of all oils? I meant the queen of the night. I can't remember what I said. But she's known as the queen of the night because it blossoms at night. So this is a very fragrant oil. I love it actually when it's diluted or if I diffuse it one drop at a time, one or two drops. To me, it's not as strong smelling, so I'm actually, I love it now. Um, but it's very euphoric for a lot of people and it's very, it's a very feminine smelling oil, okay? So there might be certain times of the month where you're drawn to this oil because it's also good for balancing hormones and um, for ovulation or fertility, that kind of thing. So just rubbing it on the abdomen um, will really help to soothe those feelings and also just balance out the hormones. So you can also put it on your pulse points. You can put it behind the ears, back of the neck. It's very calming. So a lot of people use jasmine um, for calming purposes. It's good for if you're feeling anxious or depressed. Today is actually, um, it's January 30th. So it is Mental Health Awareness Day. So jasmine is a beautiful oil to help support the mood and uplift the mood and help people have a more of a positive outlook. It's also great for reducing fine lines and wrinkles and um, supporting and promoting healthy skin or the appearance of healthy skin um, because it reduces skin imperfections and the appearance of imperfections and it helps you glow, right? I just put it on and I'm already glowing. But it's nice around the eyes. It's it's just, I, I just smell delicious right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so when we, when, a way to use this aromatically, like I said, you put it on your pulse points, you can breathe it in, you can rub it on your palms, breathe it in, use it as your perfume. I do not buy perfume anymore, it grosses me out, gives me an instant headache because of the synthetic smell and it's very strong. Um, so I use essential oils as my perfume now or my pure fume because I benefit from it, my body benefits from it, my mind benefits from it and everybody around me benefits from it as well. Um, so it's also good if you have pink eye. So with the oils, we never want to put them directly in the eye, in the ear, right? But if you are dealing with pink eye right now, you can rub it. I'm not, but you can rub it around the eye, right? 
and just rub that in and it's amazing for that too. It's good for exhaustion. So if, you know, feeling tired, rub at the back of, uh, at the back of the neck. Or again, you can breathe it in or putting, putting it on the bottom of your feet, rolling it on the bottom of your feet will also get into your bloodstream within 20 to 30 seconds, okay? Um, yeah, I talked about all that. It's good for skin irritation or dry skin, which we are definitely in the season for that. Now, emotionally, this oil, jasmine, is known as the oil of sexual purity and balance. Now, what does that even mean? So it nurtures healthy sexuality and may arouse dormant passion. Okay, so that doesn't always have to be sexual. It could just be any kinds of dormant passion in your life. If you're just sort of not feeling it in your work or um, just generally, then Jasmine can help stimulate that. It cultivates positive experiences within intimate relationships by encouraging, um, you know, purifying sexual intention or motivation, okay? And it also asks individuals to honor themselves and others. Um, so if somebody has dealt with past sexual trauma, of course you want to do the work to deal with that and get support emotionally with that. Um, but Jasmine also encourages you to release um, and to begin the healing process, right? So it's a very balancing oil for those um, who are resistant or rejecting um, or fear sexual intimacy, but it's also balanced for those who are obsessed with it, right? So if you find yourself on either spectrum, right, if you're either rejecting it or you're obsessed with it, Jasmine will help to balance whatever you're going through. So it's a great oil emotionally to support healthy sexuality, pure intentions, trust, safety, self-acceptance, um, and just really encourage the healing process. And so a great way to use this would be aromatically or topically, again, on your pulse points, behind the neck, bottom of the feet, um, and just uh, and use it that way. So you can also put it over the heart. I love putting oils over the heart too. I just think it's a great way to uh, just you know help you feel good. So that's what I got for you today. I would love to hear from you. If you know, if you use Jasmine, please comment below and let us know how you use it and enjoy it. And if you don't you, and you want to try it, let us know. Put that on your wish list. So if you're new to getting started, if you're new to essential oils and you want to get started, please reach out to me, comment below, um, and I can help you with that. Or if you want help getting shift done in your health, your life, your business. Um, I also have a 12-week online course that brings it all together. Essential oils, law of attraction, mindset, shifting our negative thinking to attract more of what you want. Um, so you can go to carlycoopercoaching.com under the work with me tab and check it all out there. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Please like this video if you like it. Please share it. Uh, you can go over to my YouTube channel. There's a lot more juicy content over there. And uh, yeah, I may or may not be back with you next week. I will be um, traveling, so I don't want to promise, but maybe I'll pop on. Maybe I won't, but I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.